and welcome to the source. I'm Nat. And I'm Jack, and today we are here at the Mint Room in Clifton, aren't yes, we, Nat? Yes, we are. It's the opening night of a lovely new Indian fine dining restaurant here in Clifton. And later on in the show, we'll be hearing from the chef, the owner, people that are here as guests. Yeah, and after eating some of the canapes, I can assure you the food is delicious. It's very lovely. So let's see what else is coming up on tonight's show. First of all, we'll be back in the studio with Sarah Black for her top 10 things to do in Bristol tomorrow. Then Jack catches up with Fiona Campbell to talk about the health benefits of coffee. Yes, that's right, the health benefits of coffee. Then after the break, we'll be here in Clifton for the opening of the Mint Room. So all that coming up on the show this evening, and Sarah Black is here with us too. She is, isn't she? But I think yeah. let's throw her back in the studio so she can do the what's on first. Yeah, let's hear what her top ten things to do in Bristol are tomorrow. Hey there, people. Hi, it's me, Sarah Black, and here's your what's on guide for Bristol. Thanks ever so much for all your wonderful responses. And remember, if you want me to mention anything, gigs or events, please contact me at Made in Bristol TV, hashtag the source. Now let's get into my top 10 events for Wednesday. Now the big chill bar, we love Wednesday. Felix J will be playing the best hip hop sounds in town with a bit of a midweek rave thing going on. Now this starts um, at eight o'clock and finishes at two. Now Mr. Wolves, which is just off Corn Street, is hosting its weekly open mic night. Now there's complimentary beer and food for all the performers. How cool is that? The doors open at eight. Get on down and why don't you showcase your talent? The Syndicate are holding the biggest student night in the city this Wednesday. Now they're playing the best music around. Now check out their Facebook for more details. Steak night at the Rummer Hotel. Now this starts at six o'clock and goes through till 10. There's plenty of options and food available, but this gets very popular, so you will need to book. Down at the tunnel at Temple Meads, Buddy Winnington starts at 7.30 down there. Now the tickets are at seven pounds and you can actually get them on the door. The Love Inn in Stokes Croft. Now Crate Digging is playing and it's live music and it starts at seven o'clock. And best of all guys, it's free. Moving on to the Tobacco Factory. Now, Radiant Vermin is still playing uh, and it goes on to the 7th of March. Now, this is a dark satanical comedy and it's quite actually quite, very clever. Now, the tickets start at £9 and go on to 13 Check out their website for more details. Every Wednesday, there is Swing and Dance down at the Steam Crane. Now, this starts at 8 o'clock and it's situated on North Street. It's a great way of meeting new people and have some fun. Now, you can be an experienced dancer or a complete beginner. All are welcome. Check them out. Moving on to the Colston Hall. Now, Joan Armour Trading is playing. The tickets are priced at £30. She's a significant female artist and has been around for about 40 years now. Go and check her out. Elle Bailey is playing her country blues down at the old Duke and tickets are completely free. It kicks off at 8.30. She has actually been on the show as well and she's got an amazing soulful voice. Why don't you go check it out? Now, that's my guide. Have a wonderful evening, guys. Uh, I'll see you same time, same place right here and I'm going to hand you back over to Nat. Take care, guys, and see you soon. Thank you, Sarah. Loads happening tomorrow and she's here. So you'll hear more from her later on because... She's just here again and she's going to catch some guest reactions. Yeah, we're going to be walking around, finding out if everyone's having a good time. Are you drinks, having a good time? I'm having a very nice time. I good. can't wait to go and have some more food after this, good. though. And you're uh, you're going to stay awake tonight because you've had some coffee this morning, didn't you? I have. We had a lot of coffee did this you? morning. Yeah. We did, yeah. <laughs> so I'm still buzzing from that. Yeah, you should be looking a bit more perky. I am, yeah. thank you very much. <laughs> so Jack earlier was out with Fiona Campbell to find out if coffee really is as bad as we think. So right now I'm outside Spicer and Cole Coffee Shop and Kitchen to go inside and meet our nutrition expert Fiona Campbell. Now we're going to be finding out is coffee bad for you or are there any health benefits to it? So let's go inside and grab a cup. Hello. Hello. How are you? Very well today. Thank you. Good. So we are here. I'm very good. I'm good. I'm good. Excellent. So we are here to talk about coffee. We are. Yeah. The health benefits. Is it? It's bad for you. Are there any health benefits to it? So I guess first of all, what's your opinion on coffee? Well, um, my opinion on coffee, Jack, is that um, there's actually some surprising health benefits. I spent okay. a lot of time researching the um, the potential health benefits of coffee, and from what I've read, actually, there are two classes of compounds that um, that are of interest when we're looking at the the potential health benefits okay. of coffee. 
So where caffeine is concerned, surprisingly, it's not as, um, it's not as dehydrating as we thought. Um, an Australian sports study showed that a diuretic effect is actually quite negligible, and especially when we exercise. Um, and we all know that caffeine has that lifting, yeah. like um, gives mood energy. elevating, gives us energy and helps us concentrate a little better in moderate amounts, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but in large amounts, it's not so good for us. So you shouldn't, you shouldn't be drinking too much coffee every day. Yeah, exactly. So in moderate amounts, coffee can actually be good for you. Now, um, on the sleep front, I normally say to people, well, actually, if you're having trouble sleeping or if you're stressed or, yeah. or, or, um, or otherwise wired and tired, then the best thing to do is to drink your um, drink one to two cups of coffee a day and limit that to mid morning and not drink it after lunchtime, okay. um, because the caffeine can stay in your system for up to forty eight hours. It's a long time. Yeah, I mean, that is a long time. Yeah. So how much coffee do you say to drink one to two cups a day? Yeah, that's that's what the research is suggesting. So um, the, the other class of compounds that's really interesting is called chlorogenic acids. And um, these acids are linked to the reduced risk of some cancers. Um, and a Japanese study found that it had anti-aging effects. Not that you would need to worry about that, obviously. But, um, Not just yet. There's a reduced incidence of age spots um, associated with drinking coffee. And a Finnish study found that it had a balancing effect on blood sugar levels. So from that perspective, um, the chlorogenic acids and caffeine can balance each other out. So if someone like me who doesn't drink coffee at all, mm. like I've never drank coffee. Never touched it. No, not, don't, I'm not necessarily a fan of it. I tried it, I didn't really like it too much. So would you say for me to start drinking coffee, like a couple of cups a day, or? <laughs> if it doesn't agree with you, I wouldn't. I mean, okay. it's, it's a very individual thing, and um, something like a cup of coffee may not affect you at all, but might affect me greatly or vice versa. So you've really got to decide what's right for you. And then for those who drink, too much coffee a day. So they obviously are drinking cups one cups cups yeah. a day. So you know, keep themselves awake at work, yeah. things like that. What would you have what would you say to those people? Well, I recommend that you swap out um, quite a few of your coffees then if you're having about 12, um, to say limit yourself to two or three cups a day, like we were saying. Yeah. Um, have you know herbal teas or hot water and lemon, for example, that could be quite nice, mm -hmm. or yeah. um, a, a slice of fresh ginger, for example, can taste really nice. So. so for all those people who are saying coffee is bad for you, you should stop drinking it, they're not, they're not right. No, nope, coffee they is guilt-free as far as I'm concerned. It is guilt-free, okay, so 300 milligrams a day. Let's go, let's go over the quick facts, the little yep. bullet points. So 300 yep. milli milliliters, milligrams a day. Milligrams a day. <laughs> uh, what, two to three cups a day, yep. not after late morning. Ideally, you'd have um, your last cup of coffee before lunchtime if you're suffering with poor quality sleep. Okay, and if you're drinking too much, just, just cut down a bit. Yep. Change it with some maybe hot water and lemon. Yep. Stuff like that. A little bit could be really good. And if you want to get a really nice cup of coffee, definitely it come down to here. Spice and cold. So not a bad thing at all then? Absolutely not. Two to three cups a day and you'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> yeah, see, I can't have more than one. I can't have any. I can't you? I'm not a coffee drinker, I don't drink you it. You just don't all. like it? I think it's disgusting. Oh my god, was that a bit of a hard mm. tube for you? It was, it was very hard, but I pulled through because it gave me the energy to, to get through the day. Tonight. So exactly. earlier on, when I was interviewing Pee Ellis, he's going to be on next week's show about the Bristol International Jazz and Blues Festival. Quick plug there. Really cool. He puts a dollop of ice cream in his macchiato. Why didn't Why didn't they do that for me earlier on? Because <laughs> you were with Fiona Campbell and she doesn't do sugary well, ice cream. It is not very healthy ice cream, so that would have yeah. been a bit <laughs> yeah. of a bad look for me, I think. Yeah. Well, that's it for part one of the show. Join us after the break when we'll be back here at the Mint Room talking to the chefs and also the guests here. Yes, we will. We'll see you in five, guys.